Howdy guys, good afternoon, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. Alright, uh, so in that last video it was actually on medium difficulty. This is the bug, don't do this. If you click continue game it will revert your game to medium no matter what difficulty you're on, so you're gonna have to do load game. But yeah, other than that, I worked my way back up to it, right at the same spot we were. I think I have more stuff this time though. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. But yeah, no biggie. I had no problem playing it through again. I was enjoying myself, but it's kind of scary when you're not <laughs> talking to people. You're just sitting there like, uh. All right. Okay, we need to go down this way. Yes, that is right. All right, what do I got now? I have a crap ton of ammo, as you can see. Holy shit. What is that? It's 125. I got 137 rounds, some med kits, and a stasis pack. And as you can see in the lower left, I got the thermite. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to it. I got a lot of money and the node. Maybe, is there, there might be a bench around here somewhere. Yeah, there's a bench coming up. Oh, God. Hold on. I, fuck. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I accidentally put a timer on instead of my stopwatch, so I'll just say it's been about a minute so far, so that's fine. Let's move on and get this, get these, uh, shock pads so we can blow up this destruction, or this obstruction, rather. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I'm playing this on full volume. Who is that? Uh, sir? Hello? Sir? Ah! Oh. That dude just cracked his skull open. Oh, I have no room. <laughs> no room. Man, I have so much ammo, though. And yeah, and I have all this ammo on hard, too, so yeah, what's up? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not the best at multiplayer games, but for some reason I can just do single player on hard, like, all day! Alligator, holy crap, that was loud. This is really loud, I'm scared. No, but no one comes out until you move this thing, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's check out this audio log, or text log. Hmm. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50, 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake, not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere at Planet Side. His guilt is, in, is not in doubt. Two Planet Side security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans, and he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransigent, displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes inter intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the phases, and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Alright, so yeah, I meant to actually... Ooh. Yeah, that's a circuit board. They give you money. But we'll get in there on the way back, I think. What I meant to to mention at the beginning of this episode is in the last episode, I missed an audio log in the uh, the dentist's office part of the last level. And it was some from some weird guy. He sounded kind of sadistic. He was mentioning stuff about... Uh, he saw more people acting weird and f like from the colonists and that he was like excited about the results or something. It was weird, man. Weird indeed. Alright, so let's upgrade something. Um, I haven't really needed to upgrade health yet, so let's check out the cutter. Well, I'm going to have to use an empty node anyway. So... Either... Okay, so let's, let's, let's think ahead. So if I do this node, I can get reload, and then I do this node, I can get speed. So I can go, go up here and get capacity and damage. But you can do the same thing down here. You can take the same path to get to capacity and damage. But then the thing that, that will come up next is you either go to damage next or you'll go to speed next. So uh, I think I'm actually going to go this way. So let's use this node. Alright, cool. But yeah, it's a blank node. You have to do it. So, uh, But there are, there are lots of nodes in this game. And you can buy them eventually too. So we'll be getting enough... I was getting to that, thank you. God, let me let me talk to my people. There's a dead dude in there, okay. Was that like an MRI? But yeah, you can buy nodes eventually. They're like ten grand each. Let's move this doohickey over this way. Uh that's good enough. Alright, people are gonna start fucking coming out now. 
Ah, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there's an alligator. Lots of alligators. Where did this one go? There was one up there. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Nice. Nailed it. I think I got both of them. No, that one's still alive. Suck it. Bitch. <laughs> the price is wrong, bitch. Alright, he dropped some money. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the alligators drop as much, but yeah, this is a, uh, a battery terminal here, and then here's the battery, so all you gotta do is whip this up and throw it in. And now the elevator has power again. Lovely. Let's check out this room. Oh, another node. Holy shit balls. Dude. 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 Dude is going crazy, man. All right, we'll we'll get we'll, Holy fucking shit. All right, we'll we'll deal with that node later on the way back. I don't feel like backtracking just yet. I picked this up. No, inventory full. Schematic for pulse rounds. Well, I don't really care, but I kind of just want to pick it up. But there's nothing I want to drop. Fine, just drop one of this. I just want to pick up this schematic. I just feel like I want to have everything at the store. We can get that health kit on the way back. I'm sure we'll be have some empty inventory slots on the way back here. So let's head up. I'm getting some low FPS right now. This is kind of demanding. I'm running on full mat, on full everything, full resolution craziness, but yeah, you're going to want to have to use this thing as your way to get across here. Shit. Stay still. God damn, I hate alligators. Especially when they're crawling along walls. But yeah, I actually found it, found out what the, the proper name for all these things are. They're called necromorphs, which is like a fancy way of saying zombie. <laughs> like, because necro is a prefix that means, like, death. And then morph is something that, like, changed form, so... It's something that died and changed form, so it's a necromorph. But, yeah, you can pretty much just call them zombies, but I'll probably just call them necromorphs to stay with the terminology of the game. Save it up, y'all. Coolio, Julio. Alright, I might actually upgrade my health on the suit on now. Four bars can... It's a little troublesome when it gets a little sticky. Man, there's lots of crap on the wall here. Even more tribal stuff. The marker will save us. Don't look back. Beware. What is the marker? What are you willing to give up? Your life, for one. That doesn't seem to make any sense. <laughs> Uh, this is a locked door. Okay, elevated radiation levels. Oh, yep. That's why I play this game. Radiation. No, not really. Put back, put back when... Be back. I don't know. Something. Is he rapping? Holy crap, yeah. Alright. I didn't know it came to vacuums so soon, but yeah, this is vacuums. And they modeled this really cool in this game. There's no sound. Yeah, you can see that's where the planet was cracked, that huge hole. But yeah, there's no sound besides what you can feel through your suit, which is actually how it should really be. There's no sound in a vacuum, so... You're going to want to be mindful of, like, shadows and... Like, people are coming up on your six, because you won't be able to hear them, because there's no sound in a vacuum. And I have just too much stuff, but we'll be coming back through this way, so don't worry if you haven't picked up anything. Everything. Yeah, at later points in the game, the vacuum will be much... Know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your ground boost will kick in when you enter a zero-G area. Oh yeah, we're about to go into a zero-g area, but yeah, the uh, the vacuum parts will get more extensive and harder as the game goes on. But they're not all that common, there's probably only a few times you have to do it. But we're about to enter zero-g. Well, no, we're gonna, about to make this place zero-g. As you can see, there's a battery pack over there and a uh, an explosive barrel. But, uh, there's another one over there. I don't think our kinesis is long enough to pick it up. Oh, it is, actually. So, yeah, now that we have kinesis, you can chuck this shit, and it blows up. So sweet. But, yeah, now we have zero G, and now you have to jump in zero G. So, what you do is you aim at a certain surface, and you press control. 
But as you can see, we can't zero-g to that, but we can probably zero-g to this. Yeah, there you go. So it's pretty cool. And it simulates gravity by, like, I guess using thrusters to push down your feet, equivalent to the force of your, uh... Equivalent to the... the your equivalent, like, weight in one gravity. So, I don't know, that's pretty cool. But it can get pretty trippy, like, your whole orientation, so you're gonna have to try and do your best to maintain your orientation here, because it can get confusing. Well, let's get out of this crap, this zero gravity crap. And here we go. Our shock paddles. You got a shock pad. More money, Combine yay. That with the thermite More money. To destroy it. Shit. Ammo I can't pick up. I can hear more coming. Moving oh, through God. the fence. Stay safe, Isaac. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with, uh... This place is gonna be populated with monsters now. Yeah, there's one. There's another one. Yeah, they like to jump around, stasis them bitches up. Holy shit, he's right there. <laughs> I should probably shoot him, don't you think? Yeah, that can get annoying. Alligators in zero gravity suck a lot of snuts. So yeah, you got to pull this crap and then smash it and pick up some ammo. But uh, yeah, let's head across. So let's go over this way. Flying like crazy, yo. But yeah, the necromorphs can uh, breathe in outer s in uh, the vacuum if I haven't mentioned that yet. So they will attack you in the vacuum. Or, well, they can't breathe. It's just that they can survive in the vacuum, I guess. Or maybe they, they can and they just do it because they have no feeling. I don't know. But yeah, we don't have really any empty slots to pick up this crap, but we don't... Holy crap, the only. Yeah, see, there's... So it's actually... It's only scaring the fact that you can't hear them, but it doesn't make the crazy yelling and music stuff, so... Might be good in that sense, but yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff, so let's just move on. Head back to the staging area of medical. Holy crap, what's up? But yeah, the only reason you're hearing that right now is because it's like traveling through your arm, like the vibrations, like that's what you're hearing. Exiting. It's not actually, uh, not actually hearing any kind of sound, which I was really glad to see that they did that, because movies like Star Wars and all that crap always get it wrong. <laughs> Even though they are good movies, it's just like, there's no sound in space, you wouldn't be able to hear any of that crap. But then for like special effects to make it not just seem like there's no sound, they usually, like, in, well, why did I, why did I just do that? What are you doing, man? In games that have, or in like movies that have no, s that like model spaces having no sound, they usually uh, make space seem big and immense by just putting like a lot of bass or something, which I think is actually a cool way to do it. It just makes like things seem really big, all the bass and crap. Whatever. Let's uh, head down. Holy shit. I thought I hit the elevator, I guess I didn't. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the ammo. Okay, I'll just go. Alligator. He's behind a frickin' wall. He's waiting for me to come down here. Jesus! Yeah, these things are frickin' fast. Quite annoying. I think I can pick up this ammo that's up here. Yeah, I can. So let's go up and get it. Uh, yeah, it can be really hard to pick up ammo of Kinesis. You tend to pick up their little, like, spears and crap. Ah, suck it. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. I will pick up your torso and I will chuck it. That's right. I think I picked up another node, didn't I? Yeah, okay, I thought I got another one. I thought I had two, but I just had one. Ah, we can't pick up that. Ah, whatever. Who needs it, right? Oh, let's figure out what to upgrade this bench, then. I feel like someone else is going to pop out before I get to the bench, though. Maybe not. Open sesame! Oh yeah, we have Kinesis now, you can upgrade that. Okay, so all you can upgrade is range, actually. There's no power to Kinesis, but let's go back one. Rig. Okay, see, we can't upgrade anything in first besides air, and HP will take forever to get to, so let's... Let's uh, increase reload. And I think speed is, um... It's either the speed you draw your weapon, or it's the speed that with which you shoot. But I think it's speed that you draw your weapon. So let's upgrade reload. 
And we can get to speed without having to use a node, but we're going to have to use it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. What is making that noise? I guess this place is still locked. Well, if you haven't guessed, we will be coming back to medical eventually, so... <coughs> That'll be unlocked at that point in time, but that's going to be a while away from now. Oh, these fucking things suck. They don't, these aren't the things that turn people into zombies, but... Ah, they just, like, do this kind of crap. It's best to just, like, let them get on you and shake them off. If you shake them off, they don't really do any damage to you. Dude, I hear something. Something is crawling. Oh, that's what it is. I was like, dude, something is crawling around. I hear it. Uh, I'm just going to run away from those dudes. I don't feel like wasting ammo on them. But yeah, there, there won't ever any be like, from what I remember, there won't ever ever, there won't ever ever, there won't ever be any enemies at staging areas, so you don't have to worry about that. But let's, uh, let's save. I guess we could have done the thing first, but whatever, I'll save. Let's blow up this, uh, <laughs> let's blow up this destruction. No, it's an obstruction. Dude, do it. Jeez, what the hell? <laughs> like, as soon as I move, I won't do it. But yeah, I guess it's just like thermite's like a plasma, it just burns, it doesn't really explode. If you watch Breaking Bad, they use thermite in one episode of that. Uh, we have a ton of money. Uh, maybe I'll buy a line gun. I think I will. But I don't think I have line gun ammo yet, so. No point in doing that. But yeah, you can buy power nodes. Alright, what do I have in the inventory? You got lots of crap line gun. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to wait for, uh, till we get line gun ammo. I don't think I have any line gun ammo. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, this is the old line gun right here. We have some ammo in the... It comes with some ammo, but that's about it. I don't remember what goes in weapon slot 2 and 4. I guess you can have more weapons, but I never have. I've never had a need for them. I just take the okay, space from plasma cutter. Be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, the music is telling, and that hole is telling. This hey, it's is my senior girlfriend. medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not if you hold him down. Christ. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, man. I don't know if this is going to happen right now. Is it going to happen right now? No, run away. Run away. Don't hurt me. Oh, God. Open. Open, please. Get me out of here. Okay. Oh, God. This part. Oi. Quickly going from bad to worse around here. Hmm. Man, something's rummaging around, dude. Sorry, we are full. <laughs> Sorry indeed. Man, there's blood everywhere. Help me, help me, help me. Me. This, this, this. Oh, I think that's the artifact. We'll be seeing more of that symbology. I don't feel like reading that crap. It's too dark. We're so fucked. Give them hope. Give them strength. They'll last a bit longer. Hey, or, hey, it's okay to be fucked. <laughs> okay. Save me, save us, save us. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna stop right here. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll continue on through medical to find the captain and get whatever information he's holding from us. So, see you guys then.